today to the man who taught some of the greatest guitarists their first notes. Bert Whedon died this morning, aged 91. His best-selling book, Play in a Day, inspired a generation, among them Brian May, George Harrison and Eric Clapton. Nina Nana reports on Bert's impressive legacy. Are you ready for some good old rock and roll? <laughs> The teenage wannabes of the 50s and 60s were more than ready, and Bert Whedon was the man who showed them the way. A recording star in his own right, he was the first guitarist to have an instrumental top 10 UK hit. But it was when he wrote Play in a Day in 1957 that Bert Whedon secured his place as the world's best-selling guitar tutor. Just look at the students who learned from him, including all three guitarists from the Beatles. Paul McCartney saying, George and I went through the Burt Whedon books and learned the chords D and A together. From Eric Clapton, I wouldn't have felt the urge to press on without it. I've never met a player of any consequence that doesn't say the same thing. Queen's Brian May has said there's not a guitarist in Britain from my generation who doesn't owe him a great debt of gratitude. From the Hall of Fame to Britain's guitar shops, Tony Dooley was just eight when he learned the basic chords from Bert Whedon's book. Okay, we've got C, followed by a G7, back to a C, and then to an F, and then back to a G7. Chords. All from Bert, and that's the song. All from Bert, yeah, bless him. <laughs> there are many with cause to bless Bert Whedon, those famous guitarists who followed him, and the fans that followed the musicians he inspired. <laughs> Nina Nanar, ITV News. And Nina is now our resident guitarist. <laughs> I want to see a bit more of that air guitar you were yeah, just right. demonstrating. Later, later. <laughs>